Welcome back. We're here with Allison Getz, the Republican candidate for Jefferson County Tax Assessor Collector, and Thomas Segui, the Democratic candidate for that post. Good to have you with us, guys. Give us a view of uh, the endorsements. Always uh, in each election cycle, it seems as if many groups come out and say, here's who we want to support, and it sometimes, uh, in theory, has an effect on, on, on the voters. Are there endorsements that you would like to uh, speak to? Have, have you been endorsed by uh, area groups? Yes, the same, Sabine Area Labor Council, as well as the Stonewall Democrats of Southeast Texas. But I think most, mo most important to me is that 40, over 43,000 people endorsed me in 2012 by voting for me. That's uh, the endorsement you, that's most important to me. You were about 16 votes down, as I yes. recall, in that particular race. Yes. Uh, to Shane Howard, the previous uh, and, and very popular uh, uh, former tax assessor collector, only only lost by 16, 16 votes, votes, and then you lost a previous race to Shane Howard, yes. I guess, uh, in uh, a 2010. couple years. 2010. 2010, yes. Do you have, why does Allison Getz not have uh, endorsements of this kind? Do you have endorsements as well? Are there groups supporting you? I do, and I'm proud to say that my endorsements uh, are on both sides, both parties. I've been endorsed by the last tax assessor collector, Shane Howard, who is a Republican. Shane Howard, and who Mary was on this uh, show, actually, for quite a while. Right, and Miriam Johnson, who is a Democrat, who was a tax assessor collector for 20 years, as well as the Sabine Area Labor Council. They do has a, a dual endorsement. A of. dual endorsement. And the Beaumont Police Officers Association, the Firefighters Local 399, and, of course, the Republican Party of Texas. Okay, so uh, each of you uh, have uh, have some support there, and the, the previous tax assessor collector has, uh, has uh, formally endorsed uh, you, uh, Allison. What is, uh, when we talk about this matter of, um, of partisanship, you have, have talked about a bipartisan uh, uh, view uh, that, uh, uh, you know, is, is somewhat new to uh, Jefferson County. Uh, historically, Jefferson County has been primarily uh, um, uh, known, at least statewide, as a as a as a Democratic county. Is that uh, not the case any any longer in your view? What's the what's well, the makeup there? What's the landscape? The way I feel about it is the tax assessor's office has nothing to do with party politics. You're mm -hmm. not legislating anything. Mm -hmm. Everything that's done in the tax assessor's office is dictated by statute, by the Texas Constitution, the Department of Public Safety. It has no bearing whether you're a Democrat or a Republican. So I think what's important in this race is that you pick the person that you feel is going to do the best job, mm -hmm. not the party that you represent. Have you, uh, uh, Mr. Segui, supported Democrats in uh, Jefferson County? Oh, yes, I have. But again, I would agree with Ms. Getz that uh, in this particular position, it, it does not matter the party. I mean, the tax dollars come in tax dollars. You collect the money to help facilitate the business of all of the entities that we're responsible for. Do you feel as if you've seen Republican support? Uh, I'm, I have some support from the Republican Party. It, are there particular candidates, Democratic candidates, that you're supporting, or do you support other, uh, other, other Republicans? I'm supporting a Democratic ticket. I think we got a great ticket this year. Uh, are it, but are there there are no particular Democrats that you're that you're supporting. I'm supporting no every Democrat that's on a ticket this year. The, uh, the, there are reports that you've supported uh, Kathy King in particular uh, with uh, several uh, hundred uh, mailers uh, in, in in this particular race. Uh, Kathy King uh, running in the uh, State Board of Education race. Uh, have you done? that for any of the conservative candidates? No, I haven't, but I do support Kathy King. And you serve as a uh, 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 county auditor, uh, as a county auditor as well. No, actually right? I work in the Treasury Department. Tre Treasury Department. Yes. Uh, and all the support that you've had for, for King and for other Democrats uh, in the form of mailers, I, I, su I suppose, comes from your home printer? I, I have no idea what you're speaking of. I haven't done any mail outs for any candidate. Yeah, yeah, to any myself. mail outs. So those reports to, to, would to include myself, I have not mailed anything out. Even, even though the uh, Ethics Commission number, uh, you're listed as having supported uh, Kathy King in particular with. Uh, 1,500 of the of the mailers, and, and I would question that. It's that not, the ethics that's an inaccurate commission. thing. You I, say. I, I would say that it's inaccurate, and whoever made that allegation should see me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when it comes to uh, the controversy and Beaumont Independent School District, your husband is the Beaumont City Councilman. Do you see? Uh, do you see any conflict uh, 
with his being a, a city councilman and you being a, 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 uh, an officer, if you were to win the post of the county, is there any conflict there in your view? I don't see any conflict because there is no uh, legislating. There's nothing. I'm not making any policies. City, there's county. Right. And and everything in the tax assessor's office, you know, there are rules to be followed. And there, you know, anything that my husband does or, you know, in the past or in the future really has no bearing on anything in that particular office. Now, possibly if it was a different type of office, I can see where there might be room for that. But anyone that knows me and has known me through the years knows I'm an independent thinker. I love my husband and support my husband, but I am my own person. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I think uh, all of us who uh, you know have been married or are married know exactly what she's saying, right? When she, when she says that. Uh, give me a final uh, couple of quick words on what we think this race will be like. Will there be a large turnout, Thomas Segui, in your view, when it comes to uh, uh, when November rolls around, do we expect a large turnout in Jefferson County? I do expect a large turnout. Is that crucial to the race? Is turnout, how important is that? I think it's very crucial that we get Democrats out to vote. And again, I'm not just relying on Democratic voters. I believe people know me, both parties, and they also know that I'm not going to play favorites one way or another. I am a Democrat, mm -hmm. but the office has nothing to do with party affiliation. It and has everything to do with it. Yeah. Taxpayers. Yeah. And what do you think as far as the, uh, what we'll see uh, in November as far as the turnout at the at the polls? Well, I hope we have a huge turnout because I think it's important. I think for that Jefferson County residents need to dictate what's going on in their county. And it's hard to complain or criticize if you don't go out and vote yourself. So I would encourage everyone to get out and vote. Allison Getz, Thomas Siggy, thanks so much for your time. We appreciate it. We'll be back with our regular panel. We have Kent Batman. We have Carl Parker Jr. and Jeff Lewis here on Southeast Texas Weekly when we continue.